Right, welcome back. Last time, we went ahead and cleaned up some of the miners in southern Arabia. Now that all that's left in Arabia is myself. Some... Uh, well... Dang it, I even looked up... Enclaves! There we are. Some enclaves, or exclaves, or whatever. From uh, the Mamluks. As well as Kais and Banutamin. I also grabbed this province off of Argeron, so... Even more connected up. Oh, and Zanzibar doesn't actually have any real allies, so <laughs> something to look towards sometime later. Whoa, the game's running a lot faster now. <laughs> yeah, I got some minor computer upgrades, which apparently are ridiculously effective here, so this game should run a lot faster, which is great. Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's specifically, um, I've got a new hard drive that's much faster to read-write, so... And I moved, uh, among other things, EU4 to there to make it run faster. And some new memory cards that have less memory space, but also are faster to work with, so... I mean, I still have the old cards, they're just moved away from the primary slot to the secondary slot for when I actually need memory, rather than memory speed. And now this game's going way faster. That's amazing! I wasn't expecting it to be this good, though. Wow. I may have to go down from speed 5 during wars, just to keep up. I wonder how, the real test is how long it would take for the yearly mega tick to happen. What I mean by that is when January 1st rolls around and it does all the yearly economic calculations. The song didn't even look... This is amazing! <laughs> wow! How long have I been recording for? I went through a year in less than five minutes. And that's including the at least 30 seconds where I was paused and talking. At this rate, I might actually be able to go almost three decades every session. Oh, jeez. I can actually have campaigns that don't take half a year. Yes! Or s shorter sessions. Either would work, although honestly I think um, longer uh, maintaining the current session length is fine. At least for the time being. Um, okay. There we go. Uh. Hmm, you're busy in a war. And Songhai would not intervene because they're heavily in debt and being besieged. The Mamluks, of course, would intervene, and the Canaries, well... What do I care about the Canaries? <laughs> nope. Just gonna give them a couple months to regenerate. Man, it only goes this fast. It previously only went this fast at like, early game, base game EU4. Jeez. And this is late game m and I am astonished by how effective these upgrades were at this. I was expecting improvements. I wasn't expecting, like, triple speed. Ah, okay, so Bulgaria's already working on converting some of their provinces. Good. 
it's a slow pro it's a slow process, but the fact that the game is now heavily sped up does mean I should have an easier time dealing with it. There, that should be enough to convince them to just about any peace deal. <laughs> well, not just about any, but... I should have an easier time getting one that I actually want. cannot be filled in. How dare this game create something like that. Well, a hundred years of rise of the capital. Okay. Seems like a lot. Well, five percent. Seems like, well, okay, maybe not a lot, but it seems like a long time to me. Wow, the game has been going by so fast I forgot to grab tech and all that stuff. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not used to things going this fast. Okay, National Anthem, New Idea Group. Three decker, shipped early, plus 5%, global naval engagement wins plus 5%, naval morale plus 0.25, enables two new ship types. Specifically heavy ships. War games, army move speed plus ten percent, military tactics plus point five, land morale plus point three, combat was plus two, artillery fire plus point five. Right, new idea group. Um, industrial. Just yeah, too good. Winds of change, yearly passive freedom plus one, global institution spread plus thirty three percent. Industrial uh, urbanization. Oh, I probably should read them. Seeds blown across the wind, visions of change and turmoil, of lives upended and terrible evil only destroyed at great cost, but also of sickness nearly banished, of the world united like never before, and those called for living as kings. Change is coming. Let us hope we are not the status quo. Urbanization from day-long labors to day-long shifts. The cruelties of the past forgotten, replaced by those of the peasant. Peasant labor supply plus 10%. So... What used to be one the amount of population needed for one peasant labor counts as 1.1 peasant labor. And amenities cost minus 10%. Urban reduction efficiency plus 2.5%. Innocence lost. There is no remaining behind. Change comes for even the most isolated. And like water against stone, even the most resilient of traditions shall be worn away. Elite diversions concern plus 50%. Yearly clan power minus 0.5. Stability increase... Interval, minus 7.5 percent. Entrepreneurs. In spirit, like the explorers of yesteryear, seeking new paths to prosperity and risking much for the chance of greater at greater fortune. However incidental to their motivations, they paved the way for a better life. Base consultation plus one, embargo efficiency plus five, plus 50 percent. Economies of scale. The benefits of fully utilizing the things you pay for are not to be understated. Cities are an expression of these benefits, the largest a, module, a marvel of efficiency over sparse cottages and distant amenities. Urban production efficiency plus 2.5%. Merchants of death, the ugly face of prosperity, the might it permits. An ever escalating race of arms to end in peace everlasting or the doom of us all. Armaments production plus 5%, naval production plus 5%. Infantry combat ability plus 10%, artillery combat ability plus 10%, ship durability plus 10%. Brave new world. It is the most alien of worlds, the one of our own making, one of culture ever changing, of children strangers to their parents, and of fates uncertain. Peculiar and terrifying and beautiful at once. It is into this world we step, never to return. 
Base divergence plus one. Pathing infrastructure cost minus ten percent. Movement speed plus five percent. And unlocks the police force policy, which boosts my stability. However, I do believe it's a yeah, it's an admin idea group, which I'm not particularly willing to implement just yet. Well, okay. I don't need one currency act. Bring on a better stability. I have to actually, because weird, like the fact that the years go by, the, the yearly ticks go by in like 20 seconds means that I have, it doesn't feel like the year has gone by. I've gotten used to it taking forever to do that. Okay, so Domeskian Separatists are coming, uh, they're literally just Domeskis, okay. Um, he should march to there. It's probably safe-ish. Of course you get no access. You're supposed to get no access, but the subject, the subject has weird interactions, apparently. Okay, I can start fabricating claims. Oh wait, I could already start fabricating claims across the entirety of the Tunisian coastline up to here. I just didn't have a reason to beforehand. I'll go specifically for those that I'm likely to look towards, to conquer. Generally, the coastline goes first. Because the inland tends to be harder to keep under control. Just a fact of geography. For any empire with a large naval presence. And I've got basically the biggest navy in the world. <laughs> Not necessarily right now. Oh, well, if you count all colonies, well. 72, sh 72 ships is nothing to sneeze at. Never mind. China. Just China. Oh, I'm sure there's opportunity, I just didn't find the right province. There we go. Right, your province and the three coastal provinces that Ivat and Ivat and Co. control. There, Roman Near East. <laughs> Stretching mostly over Somalia. Close enough. Close enough. Let me just do the uh, usual stuff of and promote the aristocratic faction and some popular relative in order to get noble loyalty back up, as well as promoting ship devotion and promoting and supporting commerce. And. And finally, Merchant. The one that was sitting here has... No. Let's get trade power to collect. It's finally returned again. Yeah. If you haven't noticed up here, I have gained a lot of time. Speed. Okay, and that modifier's gone, so I can go ahead and grab tech. The social contract. Stab cost, minus 1%. The Sextant, Naval Force on the plus 5%, May Agitate for Liberty, Colonial Range plus 200. Royal Mortars, 
Maneuver plus 5%, infantry fire plus 0.1, artillery fire plus 1, artillery shock plus 1, enables the horse artillery. So you may have noticed that the timer is, that the year is way, way later than we started, as compared to usual episodes. Yeah, I made a couple minor upgrades to the computer. I'm getting some, a couple new memory cards and a new hard drive that's easier for the CPU to reach. And it turns out it about tripled my game speed. <laughs> well, it, quadru it quadrupled my game speed, if not quintupled. So, it is way faster than it was previously. I should be able to get... So, campaigns will no longer end up taking half a year. It will take much less time, assuming I can get to it properly. Which is just great means it should be a lot easier for me to get through these campaigns. And I could do some more whimsical stuff if I wanted to. Should be fun. Let me just fabricate some coins. I have not really been paying all that much attention to stuff because everything's been going by so fast. But I'm here for it. It's great to be able to do that. Yeah. It looks like someone's already embraced industrialization. Yeah, Northern Italy has already gone ahead and gotten for themselves industrialization. And it's already uh, arrived in the capital. So it's going to be coming fast. And I will start inventing... Yeah, definitely just started inventing it already. It'll come along very, very quickly. But yeah, the improved game speed means I can do campaigns like this way, way more easily, and way quicker. It's not going to take half a year to get through. It's going to take much less time. I can do smaller campaigns, that, and it doesn't feel like I'm wasting all that much time and effort. I could play a, chi a China campaign for 200 years over the course of a month or two, with no real issues. It's great. I now have freeholding. So there's no longer any feudal dues except for unfree peasantry on landlord property. And the nobles are finally at their last name, landlords. So, and there are no feudal dues for residents and burghers. And the nobility no longer get a boosted amount of power from wealth. So... The landlords are just going to be losing a dramatic amount of power. Okay, maybe not a dramatic amount of power. But their wealth is dropping like a rock since they no longer are getting nearly as many feudal dues as they were in the past. And as my peasant freedom slowly increases because I picked up industrial ideas. And the first idea gives plus one yearly peasant freedom. Yeah. As soon as the heir manages to become ruler, I will probably... I'm not actually certain probably have enough executive authority in order to get free peasantry. And that will be the last of the reforms, except for this. And all that put together will break the noble's power permanently. Probably. At least within the scope of the game. Yeah. I do also have to work towards turning the church into taxpayers, but long-term goals, long-term goals. After all. Bulgaria is also working towards converting their provinces. I have seen that. They're definitely doing it. Yep. There's a missionary right there and a missionary right there. Which is excellent. I haven't expanded their territory in ages, and I don't plan on doing so. Very quickly, they will convert. Most of the provinces enough of the provinces, so that I can easily go ahead and integrate them, no issues whatsoever. Oh, it's still going to take 20 years. Wait, it is 20, right? Yeah, 20. A little less than 20 years. Yikes, it's actually quite a lot. And how much will I be using? Eight Diplo points per month. Oh. Oh. 
Aha, I see. That could potentially become an issue. Oh well. Okay, that's a very silly looking orthodox. <laughs> yeah, I've been checking the religious screen and, well, there's not very many Protestant countries. It's pretty much Onsebrook and Cologne and Norway. We've got one reformed country, at least in the old world, and that's the Dutch. Assume. Yeah, that's probably. The rest are either Catholic or Orthodox, with the usual East West split. The new world's a bit different. We've got, for some reason, a Portuguese colony that's Calvinist. That's all I can see, my. You know. So. Oh, and Sodanda managed to somehow win against Portugal. Yeah, I don't know how they managed to do it, but they did. I have also been working towards connecting all of the provinces here together. I've been focusing my expeditions over here. And I'm not the only one. It seems that Brittany has also gotten a province here as well. Good on them, I guess. Yeah. I also now have all of Lanka, except for the singular inland province right here. Korea now owns most of modern-day Mongolia. Isn't that wonderful? Jeez. <laughs> oh, Korea is turning very, very scary. Aren't they? And Tasmania has either, is either working on colonizing... Not the colonizing. Oh so, yeah, everything in here is colonized. Australia has been fully colonized. And I've been colonizing up here, too. Though... That's just turning Papua into an utter mess of colors. Kind of like how Borneo is. Man, doesn't that look pretty? All the colors. It looks awful. I know it. <laughs> I'm going to stop looking there for a moment. Yeah. Yep. Well, we'll get to romanticism in 20 years and get another idea group. I actually need to think on what I'm going to get next. And I love this new speed. <laughs> it's great. Anyway. Although the issue is that I'm feeling like I'm getting a lot more rebels than I was previously. But I was conquering more of Tunisia. I did not mention that. I did also grab all of the Tunis' Saharan provinces. I kept forgetting to get the last of the over there. We went 21 years. 21 years. And we're at just over two hours. I'm certain when I started talking for the ending bit, it was less than two hours. Yeah, this is just great. It's amazing being able to go this fast.